Several days later, Nick prepares himself mentally for the meeting his father has called at the estate. He trades confused glances with his brother as they wait for their father to finish lighting his cigar. The trio sits in the smoking room that adjoins the main dining room. The room features rich, overstuffed leather chairs, picture frame paneling, various animal trophies, and antique weaponry. At the center of the room is the ornate fireplace with a large hand-carved wooden mantle. Above the mantle hangs a framed crest of the Braydock clan. Do you have any idea what this is all about? Nick whispers to his brother. Not a clue, Andy whispers back. But Dad sure looks excited. Hope it's good news, because I can't take any more surprises. You can dispense with the whispering boys, Patrick says with a smile. I know you're wondering why you're here. I promise it'll all come clear when the judge arrives. You're bringing in the judge? Nick says, wide-eyed. Excellent, Andy exclaims. He claps his hands and rubs them together. That guy's the best. Father and son settle in for a time, enjoying their scotch and cigars. Soon Maggie interrupts, escorting the judge into the room. Immediately, the young lawyers stand. Good evening, judge, Nick says. We didn't know you were going to be joining us. Dad just sprung it on us. Well, I hope I'm not intruding, the judge says with a wink. Not at all, Andy says offering his hand for shaking. Good to see you both, the judge replies. They all sit down and make the usual inquiries about family, health, and the weather. Then Nick cuts to the chase. Well, Dad, here we are again at one of your mysterious meetings without any real information about the agenda. Patience, my son, Patrick states. Have you got yourself into more trouble? Andy asks. Or have you finally found a female companion for us to approve? The question draws a chuckle from the group. No such luck on the female companion, Patrick says. No one could ever replace your mother, so I'm not about to try again at my age. On the other hand, I may be on the brink of doing something exciting that borders on illegal. The judge and I would like your counsel, so let's go to the dining room and we'll share everything. 